Yes, welcome to Bikes of Rye. Out of my beautiful Tenere today. It's been a while since I've ridden this beautiful adventure bike. Out with a group of sport bike riders. So, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Black Widow exhaust is sounding so good. I miss the sound of it. Been a while since I've ridden this bike of mine. Recently got a, a new S1000R. So I've been enjoying that way too much. And so that's why I felt like I was neglecting this bike and thought, you know what, I better take this out for a spin, get some more miles on it. Cause as you can see by the trip, that is actually how many miles I've done since I've purchased a bike. It's not even a thousand miles and I got it in November and we are here in April. Also don't be alarmed. Yes, the engine management light is on. I'm aware of it. I believe it's due to the full exhaust system for Black Widow that's installed and of course uh, it's registering that there isn't a cat I guess it's just triggered saying that something's not quite right uh, I'm going to get the bike tuned very soon you can have a closed loop apparently so remove the use of the O2 sensors I believe and it should cure that problem or I guess maybe if you just correct the air fuel ratio Maybe that will remove it too, who knows, but yeah, we'll see. So the person behind you, if it's a turn, then kind of stick to the brake for them. Cool, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that I'm going to be in some of the guys' way <laughs> that are behind me. Super bikes behind me. Not ideal. We'll do our best to keep up. <laughs> I believe in you, Tenere. Yeah. One thing I've noticed is when we come to hitting the brakes before these roundabouts, whilst the front brake lever, or well, the brakes in general, have got great feel, they're not the sharpest. Of course, you get quite a bit of dive in the front forks. Beautiful Woburn Safari Park. Look at these views. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? The joys of being out on your bike. This is what it's all about, mate. Eh? Surprising how well this bike handles. <laughs> It's, it's odd because it's so tall that when you lean it over, I mean, you really have to kind of entice it to around a corner. But once it starts to lean, <laughs> it's quite an odd, pleasurable experience. I mean, it should, it should be fun for this sort of riding, but somehow it, it just is. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I actually chose to ride a Tenere today. Of course, I did mention I've got an S1000R also, which is a phenomenal piece of kit. Really loving that bike, but yeah, just this Tenere is so very good too and for these particular roads it's just ideal and i'm just wallowing along in pure comfort <laughs> with a beautiful soundtrack from the black widow i'm thoroughly enjoying myself Try 
try and pop a little wheelie. <laughs> So many, so many wonderful sounds we are enjoying. Look at the bikes we have, all full of character. I mean, I can imagine the noise we must be making flying down these roads. are a bit <laughs> great feel from the stoppers at the front but they're not the sharpest and also you've got to bear in mind I've got no rider aids either so um a little bit careful. I mean we have ABS, that's about it. Don't need traction control with this bike. You don't need anti-wheelie or six axis IMU and all those clever things. And that's what's fantastic about this Tenere. No quick shifter. Ever so raw. Ever so raw. Here we are. Arrived safe and sound at the HCAF. Got myself a coffee. Nice old bikes. First time I've been to the HCAF, we're going to come here more often. But anyway, I think I'm going to end the motor vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. I appreciate you ever so much, and I hope to see you on another one very soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.